morning, James Thomas. I've got Coach Joe Gibbs, who's now part of NASCAR Racing with a combined 300 wins. He did 54 wins in the NASCAR Monster Energy Cup and 146 wins in the NASCAR Affinity Series. Good morning, Coach Joe Gibbs. How are you? James, how you doing? What a great time of year for fans, for sports fans. We got baseball. You got football. We're kicking off tomorrow night in the NFL uh, in Canton. And then we've got our playoffs coming up in NASCAR. And I tell everybody, if you don't like one of those three sports, you're probably on life support someplace. So it's a great time <laughs> of year to be a sports fan. I agree with you. So, so tell, us, tell us right now, where are you with the NASCAR 2018 series? Well, we're five races away from going to our playoffs. And we got three heavyweights in NASCAR right now that are winning all the races. Kyle Busch has won six. Uh, Kevin Harvick has won six. Martin Truex has won four. And everybody right now is excited about our sports. We go every weekend. Can somebody knock those guys off? We had Eric Jones do it a few weeks back, a young guy. But as we get ready for our playoffs, can those three guys get all the way to Homestead and have a chance to win a championship? And so it's an exciting year for us in our sport. We're thrilled with what Kyle's doing, and we need to get our other three cars where he is. Now, after the interview, I know you're going to be rushing to Kansas. Tell us a little bit more about the Football Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Well, I love our weekends at Canton because uh, Hall of Fame, I get a chance to sit in a room with everybody that built the NFL, all those great players, get a chance to hear their stories and everything. This weekend, we're going to be inducting Bobby Bethard into the Hall of Fame. Here's a guy that helped take the Dolphins, the Redskins, and the Chargers to Super Bowls. And for me personally, here's a guy, I may have never had a chance to be a head coach if it hadn't been for Bobby. He reached out, told Mr. Cook, our owner, let's pick Joe Gibbs to be the coach of the Redskins, somebody that had never been a head coach. And then, of course, when I got here, What's the most important thing for a coach? Players. It's not coaching. It's players. And Bobby helped pick the players that took us to four Super Bowls. So it's going to be a big weekend for Bobby, a big weekend for me. Now tell us a little about your Craftsman story sweepstakes. Well, everybody's got a Craftsman story. Mine, I moved to Cal Southern California when I was 16. And in the 50s and 60s in Southern California, it was hot rods and drag racing. <laughs> I played football and everything, but that was my interest, and I got hooked on it. Everybody's got a craftsman story. In my case, I tell everybody, my high school sweetheart was my wife, Pat. We got towed out of every drive-in in Southern California because when I got through working on the hot rods, none of them ran. But there are stories like that all over the place. We're asking people that have a craftsman story Go to our website, www.craftsmanstory.com. Tell your story. You got until September 7th. If you win, okay, you're going to get a chance to come here to the race shop. I'm going to give you a personal tour. We'll spend time here showing you everything behind the scenes. And then we're going to go to Kansas on the October 20th and 21st for the whole racing weekend. Sit on the pet box, hang out with the drivers. I think it's going to be some great memories, and you're going to wind up with a garage full of Craftsman tools. Wow, that sounds like a whole lot. It really sounds very interesting. I like the idea of you failing so much, but you became very successful behind it, extremely successful. Well, I got to tell you, I love what I do right now. Uh, our whole family's involved in racing. We got a whole group of people here. It's like a giant family working on race cars. We got 600 people here. It's a thrill for us to be in NASCAR. We love it. One last question that doesn't have anything to do with football. You know, how has coaching athletes today compared to what it was 20 or 30 years ago? How has it changed? Well, I think the NFL changes at roughly 30% a year. And that, that's going to be new things that happen on the field. It's going to be salary caps. It's going to be all the things that take place in pro sports. But here's what I've always said. Human nature never changes. Okay, the same things excited us and discouraged us 
a thousand years ago that excite us and discourage us today. So I think as far as working with people, people don't change, okay? It's going to be the same things that excite us 50 years from now. So I think anybody that's good at working with people, anybody that's good at team building, okay, that aspect of the NFL and teamwork is going to be the same. But I think the sport itself, just like NASCAR, all pro sports are rapidly changing. We have segment racing now and all the fun things that we have in racing, and certainly football is changing. So I think it's really an interesting dynamic. It's team building, getting the right people together, asking them to sacrifice their individual goals for the goals of the team. And if you do that, you're going to have a successful team. Coach Joe Gibbs, you should be running for president in 2020. <laughs> I don't think so, James. I got enough problems. I don't need that. <laughs> We've been talking with Coach Joe Gibbs about racing, racing and craftsman series. Uh, thank you for joining this morning, Coach Joe Gibbs. Thank you, James. I appreciate it.